Take a look at this gorgeous forest that I'm standing in. But what if I told you that just a hundred years ago, there were no trees here. Fires had gone through. They burnt everything up. It looked like a moonscape. It was devastated. Obviously something happened, didn't it? Well, stay tuned to this episode of Believe It or Not, and we'll talk about how our northern forests recovered. Hey, Georgia, you remember the last forest history, part one we did with Hillary Pine? Yeah, she was talking about how the lumberjacks cut almost all of the timber in the lake states, and then fires came through and destroyed everything else. It was a really sad time in our forest history. It was, it looked really bad. But you know, with the recovery of nature and with lots of help from foresters and biologists, we now have the forest that you're looking at behind us today. Pretty nice. Maybe we can go back and talk to Hillary and she can describe how this happened. That's a great idea. Let's go. Okay. The fire problem was so bad that by 1912, more of Michigan's forests were destroyed by fire than by logging. And these fires destroyed towns, lives, and land all around the Great Lakes states. You know, Hillary, all this is, you know, it's kind of making me sad. These lumberjacks came to the North Woods. They're looking for good paying jobs. They cut down most of our trees and whatever was left, the fires burnt over, right? And, and how did we get from that to the millions of acres of gorgeous forests that we have today? That's a lot of recovery. That's a lot of planting. Geez, you must have needed an army to do something like that. It was an army. We call them Roosevelt's Tree Army, or the CCC, and that stands for Civilian Conservation Corps. And we are actually in our CCC museum here at North Higgins Lake State Park. That's what this place is. Mm -hmm. Cool. It looks like the CCC did a lot of work in the 1930s during that Great Depression, way more than just planting trees. They sure did. From planting trees to building state parks, the CCC was a national program aimed at giving young men work, money, and education during the hard years of the Great Depression. In return for good pay and a camp to live in, these boys worked on conservation projects around the country. In the Great Lakes states, they focused on planting trees and fighting fires. They fought fires with a backpack sprayer, and planted seedlings with what foresters call a planting bar or a dibble. If you were a CCC boy, you were expected to plant 1,000 seedlings a day. Wow, that's a lot of trees. Where did they get all those seedlings? Good question. Come with me, we'll take a walk to Michigan's first tree nursery and cool. I'll show you. Okay. Well, welcome to Michigan's first tree nursery. Uh, much of our forests that we enjoy today, they started right here. In 1903, the state of Michigan started this nursery to regrow our forests. Wow, that's incredible, Hillary, but how do we go from this to that? Yeah. Well, that's a great question. Come on over to the cone barn and I'll show you. Cone barn. All right, Georgia, yeah, come on in. This is the cone barn. All right, so Georgia, you have this pine cone here and it is full of seeds. We wanna get those seeds out. So in nature, how would that happen? Ah, I know this one. So in order to get those seeds out, they have to be released through heat. And in nature, it's either a hot summer day or a fire. Exactly, but here at the nursery, we can't always count on a hot summer day and we definitely don't want fire. We talked about how bad those fires were. So uh, what we're gonna use instead are these. And Ooh. this might not look like one, but it's actually an oven. So there would be a furnace in the basement that blows hot air up through these drawers that pull out. And these drawers would be full of pine cones. So after a few hours in here, the cones are gonna have enough heat that they will pop open. And then the seeds come out and then we can plant them. Uh, not so fast. 
we have some other steps we have to do first before we're ready to plant. All right, so we've opened up our cone, but now we need to shake out those seeds. Well, I'm guessing it uses this thing. Exactly. So this is called a tumbler, and we're gonna put our cones inside. It is going to tumble the cones and shake those seeds loose. And uh, it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, there's a few more steps, but at the end of the day, we're gonna get our seeds and we're gonna plant them. They're gonna grow for three to four years, and then those seedlings will be ready to be lifted out of the soil and planted uh, all around the state. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hillary, you know, that sounds like that was a whole lot of really hard work that these guys did. I think we should be pretty grateful to those CCC boys for all that back-breaking labor they provided us. We really should be. And if you know where to look, uh, you can still see the mark they left on our land. Uh, they planted half a billion trees here in Michigan. And if you're driving down the road and you spot those red pine trees growing in perfectly straight lines. I think I've seen those, mm -hmm. some of them. Those were planted by the CCC. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, I think those guys did a lot to provide for much of the beauty in our forest these days. So my hat, oh, is already off to them. <laughs> wow, I love a story with a happy ending. Don't you, Bill? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a, a book or a movie where a beautiful world gets all messed up and then a bunch of people come to the rescue. In this case, it's folks like the Civilian Conservation Corps and foresters and biologists and planners. It, it, it's really kind of fun. It's a real team effort. It is, you know, and, I, and I, I have to wonder, you know, what will the for this forest or any forest look like in a hundred years from now? Good point. And I wonder if we'll be still using the same kind of wood products in the future. And if people will still be playing in the forest and hunting and all the things they do today. I hope so. I hope so too. But That's join fine. us in the next episode of Believe, Believe it, it or Not. not.